following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah! Blowing out of the backfield, exploding down the sideline. This is Hanging with the Boys, presented by Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Now, your hosts. Nate Newton, Kurt Daniels, Jesse Holly, and Shannon Gross. Let's go! Yeah. It's Friday! Yeah. Friday up in here! Let's the star, go. Frisco Live, hanging with the boys. You are looking at Tostitos Championship Plaza <clears throat> at the star in Frisco outside Ford Center. And it is jumping, man, jumping. They had practice just let out. It was open to the public today. It is 88 degrees. It feels like 96 it feels like some sweaty gooches out there on the positive. Hey, boys, how what we doing? Up? Kurt is yeah. back in studio. Back. Glad to be gooch back. back. Good to be it, back, yeah. Kurt. How I you? learned a new word this week. I had never heard you gooch. you never heard of gooch? Oh, I mean, I, you know, I've heard the other forms of the Taint. description. Yeah, Taint and all I've never stuff. heard gooch before. Really? Okay. I we... like uh, Twitter gooch, powdered gooch. You guys yeah. took it all over the place. Yeah, yeah. So you listened to the show. I did. You must have been bored as hell at home. I told my wife about the show. We ain't buying no more Gucci purchase fit. Purchase fit. There's a new meaning to that. Jesse, I like the hat. Like the hat. Did you give me this hat? I don't think I did. Maybe yeah, I did. I actually, did I pay for this? You might have paid for that. I don't remember giving you that one. I like it though. I paid for this. What a, a what a waste of what a waste of. Why? Huh? Why? It's a good looking hat. No, it's a great hat. I just had to pay for it. Oh, okay. yeah, I was I say, you you bought a hat, man. <laughs> All right. So Nate, you need a hug. You going through some stuff? No, 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 wait, no, 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 wait, wait. Because no, 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 no. one, you grumpy as hell, and two, what what you do to your head? No, no, no. I'm I'm good in all in all phases, man. I just uh, I'm just thinking, man. <laughs> Where's this going? You! Oh, Where's this going? Yeah. I love, I so love So first off, nah, man. Love if, you're not wa- if you're not Nate. watching the show, Nate cleaned up the beard yeah. and he's bald again. Yeah, yeah. It's a good look. Looking good. They yeah. always say something about a man who voluntarily goes bald is a dangerous man. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, Nate man. doesn't have to go bald. When you voluntarily go bald and cut it bald, yeah. Ooh, that's, a, that's a different cat right there. <laughs> okay, this is a... The dress rehearsal game. Yeah. Wait, dress rehearsal podcast. Hang on real quick. Give me my man's name. Three letters. Who that? Osa. No. There you go. Osa. Oh, oh, he's so locked in. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, locked yeah, in today, yeah, yeah. baby. No, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you something. After I did a show yesterday, <laughs> number 79, his name is Ty, right? Okay. I can't pronounce Nisecki. that. Nisecki. Nisecki. It took me 35 seconds of wasted space <laughs> trying to get this man named. <laughs> so I've learned tie. my lesson. So if I I don't know it. So 79 swing tackle tie, veteran guy. That's how. Can I? Can I, I mess that up? Can I tell? Uh, can I tell him about you calling me? Tuesday night or Wednesday yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. So Nate called me. And I didn't answer, and I called him right back. I, I answered the phone, and I hear, "All I, it's not hello, it's not hey, not what you doing." I'm like. Yo, what's up, Nate? Osa. 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 Am I, am I saying it right? I said yes. Osa. Osa. Yeah. And then I tried to learn a name on the fly and messed up. But anyway, this is what got this is what bothers me. Is this why you're bald or why you're grumpy? This is why I went bald. Okay. Oh. Oh. Both things. Oh. Because I I, I didn't have any hair to pull out, but the limit I had. <laughs> we we doing a dress rehearsal, mm-hmm. which ain't nobody dressing. To do a rehearsal, <laughs> right. ain't nobody right. of importance is stressing. But me and Jesse went back and forth. I'm like, how can Gilbert try to win a backup role as a number two quarterback when he cannot get a snap? So uh, you you say don't worry about it. I went to Isaiah stand back and say Isaiah quarterback. He said no 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 Jesse right. You know as he get more and more snaps. He, he going to settle down, and he going to be all right. I said, but y'all got to understand that the Bucks. what if something happened to this center? Be Oddish. And he goes in, and and this big Samoan killer for the Bucks <laughs> line up on his head. Mm. I say, I, we have been with the Cowboys for a lot of years. 
And what I do know about the Cowboys, what can go wrong, <laughs> will go wrong. What would you do in, in place of that? I, I would have I'd have, I'd have said Looney. I'd have called it. I'd have <laughs> that was what it. I wanted. I would have called, I would have called, I would have called the Giants. Back? I'd have called the Giants and said, look here, y'all. Okay, we'll give y'all a seventh pick because y'all still got the right to him because he retired on the y'all thing. Looney, come on back in here, man. I, I'm serious because even if it's a series – that the starting center's out, and you put this kid in under fire against some of these top-notch nose tackles. That that's a different pressure, man. You got to go under center. That's what that's that. Uh, my man, that's what my man. He, he you have to go under I, center. I, I wish it was that simple, man. When I played against Jerome Brown and <laughs> Reggie White. I mean, because I can block everybody in practice, and I can do it during the preseason. But it seems like when I played these guys here, it was, it was just I jumped offside, gave up sacks. Uh, it, it, I mean, mm-hmm. if, if if that's the concern, right? If the snaps are the concern, yeah, because and you have to be, fighting, and you have to go to a place of, hey, we need you to go in and be serviceable. You have got to change everything that you're doing. You got to go on the center. Right. You got to be able to say, "Hey, we we you know, we can't really trust you, especially right. when you start throwing live bullets. Right. Yeah. When when it when it ain't the second string and third string guys, when actually teams scheme up for you and they're bringing the pressure. Because the moment, the moment, Tyler Biotish goes out, and you enter in, the backup center, bells and whistles goes off to the defensive coordinator, and he's saying. Oh, this was the guy from preseason. Mm-hmm. So what I'm now I'm going to do is I'm 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 going to sugar my linebackers in that in those eight gaps. I'm going to line up, do right over his head, and he going he's not going to know where we're coming from. And so now he's going to have to make a decision. Especially if we're going to the shotgun. I got my two linebackers sugared in the eight gaps, right? And I got a center over top of you. You don't know if we bringing pressure. You don't know if we backing out of there. You don't know what we doing. So the safest bet will have to be that now, whether it's Gilbert or whether it's Dak, at any point in time, you now have to go on the center and call your offense okay. from that place. I mean, that, that's the only other alternative if you can't you know find what? another center. Yeah, right. You know, and I ain't saying that you and Stan Beck are great minds think alike, but uh, <laughs> good, good, good thoughts. Is there any thoughts that part of this is the old – Get the best five on the field. Maybe if they think having McGovern in there instead of Biotish would be. Biotish is it. Yeah. Biotish, even though we haven't seen enough to know that he's um, a quality, he, he he is it. You got to give him this opportunity. You got to give Biotish this opportunity. And I hope, you know, because I know with these cuts coming up, they may be looking for another quarterback. But for some reason, I just don't feel the Cowboys feel like. I think we all feel like we need the backup is not on this team. So I don't think they may feel that way, but how can you judge this kid, you know, and, and uh, everything's been a, an adventure. I, I just – that's not sound football. You don't want everything to be an adventure. At least sounds, that's – Sounds like the starting five linemen will be out there at least for a little bit tomorrow well, night. Well, what you call it, Nick? No, he's, they say he they practiced say a lot today. Yeah, he, he had pads on the day he was out there. So that Tyron's supposed to play a little bit, and Zach a little bit. So. We'll see then. Yeah. You you brought we'll up in your in your notes Tyron that Dorrance had a good day against him Wednesday, yeah. and and Bradley and I had a good day against him yesterday. Are you you thinking he's what? What are you thinking there? Well, I just they were talking about how great Bradley and I looked against Tyron Smith, and how Dorrance Armstrong looked against Tyron Smith, and I thought, well, the other side of that is there anything to worry about Tyron Smith? I mean, I'm sure not. He's 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 still Tyron, Tyron didn't feel like dropping hammer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's the only, the only I've thing. Seen you think these two guys better than Gregory? Do you think either one of these guys, Darns? No. Uh, okay, no. that's what that's what Gregory thought the first Remember, two. Of the, yeah, Brad had him in the Hall of Fame <laughs> until, until Tyron got his hands on him with pads <laughs> on. And then, it was so funny. The first two days, right I mean, Bra- man. I, you would have thought Brad was like 35 years. Boy, he was jumping on the fence. He was, oh, get that man a gold jacket. <laughs> and I'm looking like, mm, they ain't got no Talking about Randy Gregory going yeah. up against Tyron so, Smith. You knew because Tyron ran, well, walked back to the back, smiled, and he was telling one of the other offensive linemen, like, yeah, I just couldn't get my hands on it. You know, you see him talking. Right. The next day, 
Got his hands on Greg, Greg was swimming over his head. I said, Brad. He said, yeah, I see. Yeah. Player of the day, Tyron Smith. Yeah. That's good Shannon to hear. and I tried to talk to him that day. Yeah. He was like, nope. Yeah. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with Tyron. I mean, I think he's still, as long as he's healthy. He's he knows be what good. to do. He knows what to yeah. do. And sometimes yeah. you like, it's like you know, little brother type thing. You know, the little gnat. You're like, oh yeah, yeah I might have a day, but I'm an I'm an old dog. I, I ain't fooling around with you young yeah. cats all the time. Like, yeah, I ain't yeah. really worth all my energy. <laughs> so that goes into a bigger question. And let's take a break. And when we come back, talk about it. There's a lot of guys on this team that either have got minimal reps, or it sounds like they're going to get minimal reps or no reps in preseason. They know what to do, but. Do they need to get mm-hmm. something yeah, let's talk about to make that. you feel do they good? Know what to do together. The game yeah. last night is a perfect example of that. The the Philadelphia Eagles and the Patriots. That's a perfect example of a coach that want his guys practicing mm-hmm. and, and, and and getting ready. New England and the coach at Philadelphia like, oh, we okay, all right, oh. All right, let's talk about yeah. it when we come back. Take our first break. We'll be right back. Hang it with the boys. Honey, big news. Gary, are you okay? Oh, I'm not Gary anymore. I'm Jackie Flash. What? See, I want the latest smartphone, but the best deals are only for new customers. So to get a new customer deal, I changed my name to Jackie Flash. Okay, but the best smartphone deals at AT AT&T are for everyone, new and existing customers. That's huge. Then guess who's getting a deal? Is it Jackie Flash? Jackie Flash. It's not complicated. At AT AT&T, our best smartphone deals are for everyone. Restrictions apply. Visit att.com for details. Hey, Cowboys fans, ready to spice up your next watch party? Bring Yokiero guacamole and be the game day hero. Yokiero means I want, and we know you want, great, fresh-tasting, ready-to-serve guacamole for your home-gating and tailgating events. Made with real avocados and the perfect blend of spices, it will be the star of any party. You can find us at your local Albertsons or Tom Thumb in the deli section. If you can't find it, talk to your store manager and tell them, Yo Quiero, Yo Quiero Guacamole. The Cowboys Way, where 16 Hall of Famers and five championships shows us what success looks like. Where turkey is always the second best part of Thanksgiving Day. Where we are all defined by one single thing, the star. Where we as fans know it's our job to keep the tradition going. Bank of America is proud to be the official bank of the Dallas Cowboys and to support the quest of living life the Cowboys way. Copyright 2020, Bank of America Corporation. How great would it be to travel to watch the Cowboys win on another team's turf? Pretty great. But honestly, just watching the game from anywhere but your house would be fun. Even a hotel bar with some guy named Phil from St. Louis who thinks Oakland still has a team. So whether you're traveling to the game or watching from your favorite vacation spot, book a place to stay on Hotels.com. Proud partner of the Dallas Cowboys. Back to Hanging with the Boys. We're back live. The Star Frisco. The band is back together finally. Finally. And you know what? Training camp just let out. And it's open to the public two more times on the 27th and the 28th inside Ford Center at here at the Star. Come watch your Dallas Cowboys practice. It's presented by American Airlines. Admission and parking are free. Visit thestarinfrisco.com for details, times, all that good stuff. And one thing, you guys didn't see me walk in with this, but one, I did. one thing I did. you did, you saw it. Yeah, but I ain't gonna blow it. Okay, I normally do, but I, uh, you normally do. You normally, <laughs> you normally, you you are, normally will give it up quick. You are. <laughs> Don't say it like that. I'm just saying. Don't say it. I'm you not give, that easy. You give it up quick. No resistance. <laughs> you, 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 I'm not that easy. You do give it up. You do give it up easy, Nate. <laughs> that gooch. That gooch. That gooch. Come up quick. That gooch. Come up. You do that gooch up quick. Yeah. Nate, Nate, you're a no resist. You're a, you're, you're a blower that gives it up quick. Hey, stop, oh, stop that. Oh. Hey, bro. Hey, go, hey, oh. Y'all gonna make this personal. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Wow. So in honor, my my son turned one while we were at training camp last week. Yes, he Wednesday. did. So he had his birthday party without me, and he's having his birthday party with me this Sunday. And in honor, his birthday party is Whataburger themed. It's what a year. 
because we had a kid in a pandemic and right. oh what a year right makes right, sense right, funny right right? right 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 so in honor of that you guys asked <laughs> and I was able for once to deliver for once. Quick, for once. Quick, quickly quickly quickly, quickly. Yes. so thank you to Whataburger I have who who I have a I have a non mesh one well, non mesh and three first. and three the, yeah. mesh hats yeah, I'll take the mesh yeah yeah I'll if you go. don't care you take that one there's mesh okay well, there's yeah. a trucker hat thanks my son can steal this from so me. we have to wear these the rest <laughs> of the show. Um, and I want to say thank you to Rob Likens. See, that is our. That I don't have to pay for that is, it's free free hat. That is uh, our Whataburger rep and two iconic Texas brands are teaming up this year. These will be coming soon to Academy Sports and Outdoor Stores in Texas uh, from Academy's own Magellan Outdoors. They're only available at Academy Sports and Outdoor Stores in Texas. And product, I believe it is in stores now. If not, it'll be there really soon. So thank you, Whataburger. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you, Rob. And appreciate you, Rob. And Gray, oh, me Rob. and you are going to throw down on some Miller Lights and some Whataburger on Sunday. So Miller Light at your one year old birthday party. I'm having Miller Light. <laughs> he's, he, he, I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know what's going to be in that bottle. Maybe it's a surprise. That look good on you, Nate. Mm. So that yeah, does look man, good. Nate. Yeah, they bought it a better hat. <laughs> hey man, just, that looks really good on you. Yeah, it does, man. It, you know what? It looks a little <laughs> snug. We need it. Yeah, I, I like mine tight. I like a, a tight hat band. <laughs> Tight hat, man. <laughs> I like a tight hat. I like a tight hat. Yeah, you keep, Ali, you keep, yeah. you keep throwing that. Yeah, you yeah, tight hat, man. Stop, man. Yeah, stop. Like, you guys hey, know I'm not mature enough hey, to just let hey, stuff pass. Hey, hey, but let me ask my man, Kurt. Yep. Kurt, is is the quarterback, the backup quarterback on this team? I think so. Okay. Whether we like it or not, <laughs> I, I think there's every. I mean, everything they're talking about, it sounds like he's your guy, and I. would have you I mean, seen like, enough? I mean, like Jesse said, we're screwed. <laughs> I mean, if Dak's not in the lineup, we're screwed no matter who's out there, you know? So maybe get a guy that knows the system, you know? I just I don't know if there's anybody out there on the street that can do any better. I just want to know, man. We, that was my question the whole training camp, Jess. He'll tell you. Yeah. Every analyst, every reporter, and out of maybe eight to ten people I asked, male and female alike, only one said, yeah, yeah, I think that's a guy. So, I, you know, it's going to be just as much the health of Dak, it's going to be the health of the offensive line. I yes, mean, Gilbert's got yeah. a chance. He had no chance. None of those – Dalton was yeah. – you couldn't get a better uh, backup than Dalton. Right. And he struggled because he was running for his life at the time. So That's right. Wow. Well, speaking of reps and, like, how do you guys feel about – key guys at key positions either getting no reps this preseason or very minimal reps compared to other preseason cuz it seems like it seems like McCarthy's mentality and his focus is get guys to the season healthy get them get them get them healthy get them rested as much as you can and and make sure they're on the field and part of that is not Getting your starters out there in preseason, it looks like. How does that? How do you guys feel about that? Is that how important is that? I, I think I want to say this as a precursor to your to your question. And one of the things that I don't think we're really taking a deep look into. We just I think we're autumn, and I'm not. I'm not I mean, hanging with the boys, hanging with the boys' audience, and everybody else, coaching staff included. This Cowboys roster and team for years have all has always been predicated heavily on offense. It's been an offensive mindset. And so I think we've just kind of gotten used to oh the offense will be fine. They'll just carry us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They'll be okay. And you've seen more days off for Tyron, for Zach, for Lyle. Amari Zeke, hasn't practiced. For Amari. Dak's Dak. not practicing. Mm-hmm. And I think this is something to look like. You're, I know they played together for a long time. I get it. I understand it. Yes, there's something to that. But the lack of practice time and playing time that this offensive unit that I think we just – automatically think is going to be clicking on all cylinders. And our focus has is, is, is been so locked in on Dan Quinn and his defense. What are we going to do on defense? What are we going to do on defense? What are we going to do on defense? That we've neglected to think about, what about this offense? Yeah. 
What about the continuity, consistency of this offense? And I know we got we got to get them in there healthy. We got to get them in there healthy. But we can't have a defense to Nate's point that's going to take four, five, six weeks to get ready. Coupled with an offense that's going to take three, four, <laughs> five weeks to get ready. Like that is a that is a combination of a disastrous start of the year. Because both of your sides of the ball will be inconsistent. The defense being inconsistent just because of the youth and the newness to it. The offense being inconsistent because we just ain't got enough snaps. And 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 it doesn't matter how much of a veteran you are. You got to get reps. And that, that was my biggest concern about Dak. Okay, don't play him in the preseason games. Fine. But he'll do nothing during team period. He'll do nothing during seven on seven. He'll do nothing. Like these are meaningful reps that you gotta get just to keep your sword sharp in those moments. Same thing with Lyell. Same thing with Tyron. Because come September 9th, them dudes is coming. Yeah. Ain't no blow the whistle. Hey, let's start the period over again. Let's look at a different look. Hey, Jeff, the quarterback. No. And I just don't I just don't think we've put enough emphasis and talked about it enough about this offense taking so much time off during training camp. Yeah. And I think it may come back to bite us in the butt early in this football season. That's we're we're assuming so much. Right. We assume Dak will come back healthy. We assume Tyron will come back healthy. We assume Biotis <clears throat> can handle center. We we assume Zeke is faster. We assume Amari's ankle won't be a problem. We I mean there's so many assumptions of of this offense going in. And there that you know, Zeke said the other day, Yeah, you know, it'd be nice to work in practice, but we've all played together before. But Again, you're assuming so much that it, it is a concern, I think. It's a bigger concern than, than they definitely want to let on. Um, but I don't know. I mean, you guys played. The thing, the thing Kurt, uh, I think Jesse agree, is <clears throat> one thing you cannot ever do is let the most two important things not practice together. That's your defensive line and your offensive line. They allow everybody else to get in sync quicker. That is why I got a problem with the snap count. Because you're not allowing the receiver, the quarterback, to drop back, get a clear view, and to deliver the ball to his receivers. Because the line is not right. So I've always felt, is when I saw Lyle practicing every day when I came on the show, I like I, every day I let y'all know how Lyle was doing. Because the lines have to practice. And last night, as you look at the New England Patriots, they had they started an offensive line. They started a defensive line. You got to go because that allows everything else to get in sync quicker. But if those two things are not right, then what Jesse said is going to come to the light. Let our offensive line be out of sync. Dak going to be running for his life. Amari going to say where the ball at. Zeke going to be like, why we ain't got no holes? Because those two things have to practice all the time. Not a whole bunch. We have more days off for guys than we had practicing. That I don't agree with that. Offense and defensive lines has have to practice to stay in sync to give everybody else around them a chance to be successful. And it's crazy when you look at what training camp is now. Like I don't want to be the the dude, the the get off my lawn old dude, but Jesus Christ, you don't even <laughs> practice now. Right. Like yeah. everything is a walkthrough. Everything like I came up in an era where there was like two a days, full path. You, you're the old guy now, I, you know that. I'm, but, but I am the old guy. But I'm like, I get trying to keep these guys ready to go for the season. But it's like, I, I, I can go right now. I can do a training camp right now. I can do a training camp right now with all these days off. So is and that, all these less padded practices. Like I don't know what more. Like you're not as physical as you used to be. You don't practice. And on top of that, you're getting all these veteran guys is, getting all of these other days off. Is this a McCarthy thing or is this the NFL? This thing? is the NFL. I mean, it's 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 a it's an NFL thing. It's a partly a McCarthy thing because he's he's okaying for all of these guys. Lyle's off yeah. today. Tyron's off today. Zach's off today. Is this one of those deals where if they jump, come out of the gate and they look out of sync and everything, it's like this is an issue. But then you get to week 17 and everybody's healthy and it's like 
that was pretty smart of him to to, to do that in the offseason. Is this one of those things that it's, it's kind of like <clears throat> it could be good, it could be bad? It's always the end factor. It, 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 it all it it's that's the that's the coin we flip. Okay, mm-hmm. but I, and they can do it again. And I'm gonna say this right here every year. Your offense and defensive lines has to practice and be in sync. They can, you know, and they can they can go far in the playoffs. And I'm still say that because if, if if one of these guys are out of line or off key, like you know the first play last week against the uh, the Cardinals, guy just run through the backside linebacker just, and just hit the running back in the backfield. That that's not gonna happen to Lyle during the season because he's gonna be in sync. He's going his mind gonna be working a little bit better. But if it does, you'd be like, wow, I saw that happen just a week ago. You can't allow no gains. You can't allow for negative plays. As offensive line, getting back to the offensive line is a key. Not getting back to the offensive line, that's either a sack or a loss. Now that puts your coordinator in a bad play call. So they need to be in sync. And I'm always stick to that. If the offensive line and defensive lines are in sync, that means everybody else around you can get in sync quicker. Can they get in sync with the way they're doing practices now? Like I say, the whole league is doing it. So now it's about the mindset of your players. But no, 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 no. The, the, the whole league has, has fallen under a new practice format. Yeah. But the whole league ain't keeping a bunch of guys out well, of practice in Andy addition Reed to that. Does it a little different. Games, and and yeah. Reed, and Reed acts that his guys practice a little bit more. Not every coach has got guys off. You like you saying, I'm I'm green because mm, Andy thank, Reed thank has God. been known to run. That'd be that'd be ugly. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I missed something there. His mind is so far in the gutter. Finish your point, brother. Man, don't yeah. let f- f- fuel by Waterburger, not by Gooch. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I'm just being honest, man. It, it, it has to be some consistency, brother. In in sync or Backstreet Boys? I'm talking about in sync. In sync, man. I don't know either one enough to. All right, Jesse. In sync or Backstreet Boys? Um, in sync. I don't know what you're talking about, so. Chris, in sync or Backstreet Boys? Cool. I'm gonna say in sync, but I like Backstreet Boys. Oh, that's cool. The echo you just had. That was <laughs> that was like down, <laughs> echo. All right, let's take our last break. It's hard I what? Have the, the, why? What? Down why are you asking this random song? question? Because y'all said in sync about eight times in a row, and I was wondering if you uh, liked in sync or Backstreet Boys. Goodness. Sorry, oh, just random stretch, thoughts running through my mind. Stretch, it was not a stretch at the time. <laughs> Stop it, Kurt. You, hey, you just this party for his kid ain't what a year. What a year. You just got back on the show, Kurt. Don't 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 boss me around. Don't bully me on this show. Oh, whatever. Took up for you on Twitter this week, so leave me alone. Wow, thanks. You're welcome. All right. We'll be right back. Hang with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cowboys fans, ready to spice up your next watch party? Bring Yokiero guacamole and be the game day hero. Yokiero means I want, and we know you want, great, fresh-tasting, ready-to-serve guacamole for your home-gating and tailgating events. Made with real avocados and the perfect blend of spices, it will be the star of any party. You can find us at your local Albertsons or Tom Thumb in the deli section. If you can't find it, talk to your store manager and tell them, Yo Quiero, Yo Quiero guacamole. Honey, big news. Gary, are you okay? Oh, I'm not Gary anymore. I'm Jackie Flash. What? See, I want the latest smartphone, but the best deals are only for new customers. So to get a new customer deal, I changed my name to Jackie Flash. Okay, but the best smartphone deals at AT AT&T are for everyone, new and existing customers. That's huge. Then guess who's getting a deal? Is it Jackie Flash? Jackie Flash. It's not complicated. At AT AT&T, our best smartphone deals are for everyone. Restrictions apply. Visit att.com for details. It's game day. You know what that means. First, kebab prep. Steak, pepper, onion, steak, pepper, onion. Next, a counterclockwise lap around the room. Now, the lucky grease-stained jersey goes on. And lastly, the dance. You know the one. This is a game day ritual no matter where you are. Whether you're traveling to the game or watching from your favorite vacation spot, book a place to stay on Hotels.com and keep the tradition alive and well. Hotels.com, proud partner of the Dallas Cowboys. Hi, I'm Clint Tillerson with United Ag and Turf. When there's work to be done, a real workhorse can make all the difference. Like the Range Boss Package, our 5075E John Deere 75 horsepower tractor features a bell spear and loader and starts at $369 per month. 
and the price you see is the price you'll pay. No surprises. It works like a horse, so you don't have to. Visit unitedagandturf.com. Offer ends February 1st, 2021. Restrictions apply. See dealer for details. Now, let's get to work. Back to Hanging with the Boys. Welcome back. Final segment of the show on Friday. Final segment of this week. And we are going to turn it over to Kurt in Kurt's corner here in just a second for old time's sake. But before we do that, we had a very special guest at practice today. And and Chris can put the photos up um, on the board. We won't be able to see see it in here. But I'm going to show you guys. We had a guy that drove all the way up from Houston, (laughs) Texas. Okay? And he hollered at me at training camp today. His name is Kevin Lee, mm. and he wanted me to make sure that I saw his Nate Newton jersey that yes, he wore. Sir. Him and his buddy drove up mm. early, early, early this morning to get here to watch practice that started at 10:15. He's got a Cowboys helmet tattoo on his arm, and he had this Nate Newton jersey on, and they listen to the show every single day. Thank you, my friend. So, Kevin, shout out to you for, yeah. one, bearing with us and ruining an hour of your day every week, and two, for supporting the big fellow on the show. Nate yeah, Newton. we got Thank you, you, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, you. I'm, 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 yeah, it. man. Donate to uh, Jesse's fund for me. <laughs> <laughs> 61 cents. 61 cents. <laughs> and, fellas, I found this little tidbit out yesterday. I know we're in a, a very heated competition with one particular show on the Cowboys Network. Yesterday – I found out that we, over the last 30 days, have been the number one searched podcast on YouTube of all the Dallas Cowboys podcasts. It's close. It's close. It's just just YouTube, but that – that 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 means a lot. Yeah, people are looking for us. Let's go. So so, so if it's been over the last month, that means that Danny, Danny, is that got a name right? Danny mm-hmm. right yeah. And Heckma. So somebody need to not be with us, man. I, I clocked in a lot while I was off. <laughs> I was on somebody the, don't need to be on the show. I was on the show. Yeah, and I used to call in. So, oh, because you're saying it's the, it was the new lineup the last thirty days. <laughs> so you're saying it's not even. So I just damaged our show by saying because we weren't even all on the show. That was a terrible point I just made. <laughs> I carried us. Don't worry. Yeah, uh, man. Jesse took Jesse. care. Of, you see these shoulders, baby? I got us. Yeah, yeah, I got us. Man. I just I had to bring it up. Yeah. Show. Since you got one over me on me earlier, and I didn't know what you was talking about. And Kurt, Kurt was there some days. Yeah, yeah. I said it a little bit. Yeah, there. so we, well, we, well, we all three, Jesse, three of the four was here, uh, uh, brother. Why, y'all, why are y'all looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> common denominator here. Look, Which I, one of these things is not listen, like the others? Listen, yeah. Which one of these things does not belong? <laughs> I, I know I'm the least talented and have the least to give on this show. I understand I, that. I, I value opening that. I get it. I bet you opening that. You did? Yeah, I bet you. Enjoyed you bring that? the energy, yeah. man. Do I? Not oh, yesterday. Yeah. Jesse I mean, had to not, restart. Not Wednesday. Me. Wednesday. He had to restart the show. I'm going to tell you how bad people want to be a part of this show. And I'm saying this for enemy number one. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Is we had Heckman come in today. So, but y'all need an energy guy? I'm looking like. Jesse, Jesse, dapping him up and hugging him up, like, wow, what is this a conspiracy? And I'm like, I'm Are we stand- about to have a hostile takeover yeah. on the show. <laughs> I'm like, nah. so Heckman came up in here, man. I was like, you know, man, I, I, in I our like, time slot, yeah. you can come in here when it's not the time <laughs> slot. When the time <laughs> slot starts and you're still in the door, that, that could be a problem. But no, see, he got a taste uh, guys, of he got guys, a taste of what we Heckman's in here right now. <laughs> 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 he got he got a taste of what it what it's like. Yeah, to be in, you know what I'm saying. To be under, yeah, the, under yeah. the lights for real, Chris. For real. You yeah. better you better keep him in that room because if he crosses that threshold, <laughs> spot, we might some hands might be start throwing. <laughs> Kurt said he was gonna come after him. Uh, <laughs> oh. It's the quiet ones you gotta watch. Yeah, yeah. 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 always get you. Heckma, we appreciate you holding it down while we were gone, man. I, I got real. some good feedback Heckma from you. Got a chance to host, and I think he enjoyed that a lot. He did yeah, because he doesn't yeah. host his own show. You know, he's not on there. Kyle Hosting's does. fun. You don't have to do much. You just throw. It out there and let the let you just throw the, nah, the bone out there and let the dogs Heckma, go. Heck, my let me do. He gonna. 
throw it out there, comment a minute, and then throw it somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Heckma. Thank you. I and told by, you, I threw Heckma off all the time because, like, I just cut you off. Like, yeah. We're a cut-off show. Yeah. We're going to yeah. cut yeah. you yeah. off yeah. and go on a tangent. We have to because you, we don't even yeah, say well, it. Because it'd be all Jesse well, all the time. Well, we I mean, and you listen, know what? If we don't even say, sorry days. to cut you off. Sorry to, I, yeah. I hate that. Just like, cut me off. Yeah, yeah. Cut, sorry to cut you off. Heckma was so used to being on. He's like, he's so used to being on schedule. He was like, it's not how we roll here. Yeah. We cut off. We squirrel moments. We well, talk about we work totally a little different. Blue, a little bit for for Heck. Heck, my one used to some of our uh, yeah. hanging with humor. the boys. Yeah, humor, yeah. 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 Like, we got him. He got, got on board. He, he went up on it quick. Yeah. No, nah, he learned. Okay. okay. You, it, th- I would imagine this show when you f- if you're on it the first one or two or three times, it's a little different because we're PG thirteen, yeah. and it's probably like, wait, y'all y'all can they say that? They kept throwing lobs like, up to, to Jesse. And he was <laughs> slamming them home. It was. You it know was what? Gonna... <laughs> That's why it was so hard to do this show during during quarantine because you have to you have to wait your turn when you're doing it virtual. Like right, you because right. there's a little bit of delay. So mm-hmm. if you start if you jump into ad or, or cut somebody off. It screws the whole thing up. So this show was, and we're always stepping on each other on the show. So it was really hard because I mean there was some segments Jesse talked like eight and a half minutes straight because nobody could cut him off. Well, even when Jesse, I remember one time Jesse was talking. I'm never. I'm cutting you off. I I, 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 I am never going to apologize that I talked too much. Let me get this real quick. I remember one time Jesse froze for two minutes and we still heard his voice. Hey, wow! He froze for two minutes in his life. Uh, <laughs> You remember that? Uh, <laughs> wow. Still going. And by the way, I just want uh, I want to say we love Whataburger and thank you guys for thank giving us y'all, this man. Wow! But this show, our hearts are still owned by Wingstop. This True. is a Wingstop show. So Whataburger, thank you. But Wingstop, we love you. We. We love you, and we need some more food. Yeah, we I was going to say, you're building need, up to something. We, now, need, we need some in-studio smacking going on in My here. guy Palmer wants to bring us food. Said he spoke to you today. Yes. Out yes. here, yes. yes. Out here at the uh, trend camp. I didn't recognize him until he got real close. And I was right. like, ah, oh, what's happening, man? Yeah. yeah, he wants to bring food by. Yeah, oh, we, nice, need, we need to have a hot chicken. We need to have family dinner one night. Let's do it. So how long? Real quick, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, y'all can get back off of it. How long do you think they'll let the offensive line play together tonight? <sighs> a series? Because mm. they're only going to play a series. I wouldn't even dress them out for a series. No, a series yeah. doesn't. Cause, I mean, a yeah. series can be four or five plays. Yeah, so three and out. out. Three and out. McCarthy so, said, I think that the defense would probably play the whole first half. Oh, but the, sweet. But the offense, you'd see a lot of. So we, if we can get two or three series in, man, tell them, hey, we need twenty plays. Man, I, I think, think? I, I just think we we are. I think Mike and and my boy Freaky Mike. I just think we are we are slow playing this offense a little bit too much. What What would you do if if Dak next week said, "I need game reps"? Would you put the starters out there for a series or two? Just oh, for him? Have, if, no, if, no, that, no. And I'm saying, if, if, no chance. If, yeah, if, I'm saying if that could happen, which we know it won't. Yeah. If that could happen, you you never Dak never take the field without the full armor. Right. right. He never take. You know. But that's you what Jimmy used to tell our boys. Hey, ho, ho. You, you try, oh, no. Everybody dress. When Dak comes in and says, "We need to get in sync. We need game action." A uh, Backstreet Boy. What? Yeah, we need Backstreet. <laughs> I mean, what? Why not put that fourth the, for that fourth game? Put them out for a series or two. Well, the I whole think, starters. Hold on. No. You have to. If if he comes to you and say that, because really that that fourth game is truly my evaluation game for those bubble right. guys. Like that is that is an important important factor. Of getting more those important guys. than getting your starters on, in sync. But. Backstreet? Yeah, but do I do I get in sync? Because the other team not going to play their starters, right? Okay. They're going to play some third. And, and that's the part where you risk that part of, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. the competition ain't really worth it. If he came to me and said that, it'd have to be this game. I change the practice script. I change it. And I say, mm-hmm. we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna go as live as we possibly can. That first team offense, there, there, will, be no, there will be no second team. When I, when I make these scripts, Maybe the, if there's 12 plays per period, 15 plays per period. Ones you're getting 13 of them, mm. and I and I no subs, 
and I'm gonna give it live game action. I'm whatever what they call it, the mojo. Yeah. I'm going mojo. I'm going two minute. I'm going red zone. I'm going short yardage. I'm going down in distance. I'm, I'm doing all that in, every day, leading up to the season. If he comes to me and he says that to, to do that game. Again, because I mean, you're gonna a series of two ain't gonna really yeah. that ain't gonna really help you none. Okay, so yeah. I would change the entire practice script and say, here's what we're gonna do now to get you guys in sync and ready to go. Bye bye bye. bye, bye, bye and that because that last that last like you said, last, you gonna have some guys flying around with no cares in the world trying yeah. to make some teams. You don't want that dude flying to you. <laughs> you know? That makes sense. All right, Kurt, yeah. you got about five minutes left. Well, I was Kurt's corner, but first, plug the magazine. Yeah, you can still get our uh, training camp issue. It, it, obviously, training camp's been going on a while. But it's got scattering reports all the, on all the uh, players. It's pretty in depth. Got, the writers up there did a nice job. So uh, also plug your documentary. Yeah, did I was going to say that. Too. Yeah, you yeah, did, the Drew Pearson documentary. Don't came act out last like. Week. Don't act like. Oh yeah, this isn't a big deal. Like it y'all, is a big y'all deal. kicked ass with this. Yeah, thing. that was a fun one to do. Obviously, with uh, him going to the Hall of Fame, we really enjoyed wow. doing that. Myself, Alex Lilly did an awesome job putting it together. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, definitely go back and check that out. And then tomorrow night is um, our Darren Woodson documentary. Wow, so, um, that should be pretty good. Um, I'm looking we forward were, to seeing that. And then, who did that one? That was uh, Rob Phillips and Matt, uh, Madison Amon. Um, yes, were those two? We awesome. were we were in training camp. Oh, they were working their asses off. Yeah, <laughs> Rob, they both pulled on. on I'm think, Jesse. I'm thinking these kids at any moment. You know, Rox was running the show <laughs> and, and Chris. I was thinking at any moment. Either one of them two young people is going to say, you know Just what? Just walk in. It ain't worth it. I, I love the Cowboys, but not that <laughs> much. <laughs> I mean, Alex pulled oh, an all-nighter. Oh, man. Madison yeah. pulled an all-nighter oh. when we got back here. Like, didn't sleep. I think they, they. it's all fun and games when you first start these things. When yeah. you get down to the Deadline, wire, deadlines. oh, man, it's a grind. Yeah, and then Kurt's over your shoulder going, no, nah, you need to change this, yeah, this, this, They this, weren't this, very this, happy this, with this. me, I don't think. So. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, Jess, I mean – I walked in one day and I and, um, and I saw Madison because I was sitting next, next to her. She was just staring, <laughs> and the screen was just moving. Yeah, I said, and I I, I I said I'm not going. I just let her stay in the phone because <laughs> <Yeah>. I. <laughs> cause, yeah. just, and, then, and everybody just talking around, and she just and I just finally you know kind of touched her like that, and she came back and she went back to work. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> wow. Y'all had a sweatshop <laughs> down there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, well, Woodson's tomorrow, and then we'll have uh, uh, some draft warm stories. We've really got some cool footage, and then we got a really good story on the last one. With, uh, what, own, what's the last one? Our own Jesse Holland. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Back to the porch. You know what? Yeah. We should we should the show before that airs. Or Do maybe, I have the last one? That's pretty dope. Maybe maybe the day that it airs, we should have a whole full segment. You know, about, you, you, don't give the whole thing away, but talk about yeah. parts, and then we can, you know, then we can do get some of the behind the scenes stuff of going to yeah, to, yeah. yeah, and yeah. then we can do that after yeah. after yeah. You know, it's so sad. What is they had to drag, you know, just t- tooth and nail and uh, pliers, snatching teeth. Not Jesse. Jesse, we need this here having the next day. Jesse. <laughs> Jesse's like, I'll rent the car. I'll buy the lunch. We, Listen to me. We are going to win. Jesse, like, any time. We're going to win an Emmy. Yeah. Let's go. They, they didn't have no problem getting <laughs> Jesse just do it. Who you want to talk to? I'll line it all up. Yeah. They had no. They had. No issues. <laughs> Got everything that they need. So we're going to watch Jesse. Uh, we're going to watch. It reminds me Amber Garcia. Congratulations to her. She just won an Emmy for her documentary. Won an Emmy. And then, uh, yeah, congratulations, Ambar. And then our own Drew Ferguson won one for uh, the CD Lamb series he did last yeah. year with nice. uh, Sleep Number. So See, got you know, a couple I'm, I'm Emmy thinking, winners I'm thinking this year. is a conspiracy. Man. Bridesmaid again. I'm thinking this is a conspiracy, Jesse. Again? Again. <laughs> I've only been a bridesmaid <laughs> once. This is a conspiracy, man. <laughs> what? What? Because you can't tell me that... Hanging with the boys, you shouldn't have an Emmy by now. I don't think anybody nominates us. We need to. I think I know, that's, that's, the, that's, the oh, that's the enemy you working behind clothes. That's the enemy working behind clothes. We should nominate them. ourselves. <laughs> yeah, we'll start a, a GoFundMe page to get yeah. to get, get the get yeah. the sponsorship fee up. Yeah, let's, let's, Kirk, next year the Nate Newton documentary that'll win an Emmy. Ooh, I don't know if we're ready for that. Please, no, no. 
I got people been one. thinking. I, I got people thinking I've been a Christian all my life. And I'm fit to change that. I'm not fit to change that. <laughs> I think this show's already changed that, Nate. Yeah, well, like, with y'all up to date Gucci words and all of this. Food. Yeah, tell him you've been slinging that Gucci since the nineties. Yeah, I'm like, oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you have. Yes, you have. <laughs> All right, you know what? Well, you just uh, you just veto Kurt's corner. Yeah, that's an ender. That's, an that's an ender. Kurt, good yes, seeing sir. you, man. Good to, good to have you back, Nate. Wow, man. Thanks for bringing it. Oh, bring Jesse. it all in. Bring it all in. Good bring it seeing all in. you. Yeah. You yeah. know what? Next time we come back, we will have one more preseason game under our belt. One more to go, and then football season is Come here, on, baby. Gilbert. Come on, Gilbert. Come on, Gilbert. We'll have a lot of things to talk yeah. about when we come back on Monday. Chris, thanks for keeping us on the air. William, thanks for being on the ones and twos and keeping us live. Heckma, thanks for staying tuned and watching the best show on the Dallas Cowboys <laughs> Network. Learn something. We appreciate Learn something. you. Enemies, get behind us. Every viewer we can get counts. Thank you, Kevin Lee, for supporting that guy. On demand. On demand. On demand. On demand. On yeah. demand. Thank you to the guy, I can't remember his name, that drove up from San Antonio with his buddy. Nate Noon Jr. Nate Noon Jr. Called Jr. Work. Called his sick to work just to come to practice. <laughs> so nice. thanks to you and your boss for letting you Thanks to you too. Come to practice. Guys, thank you. I enjoyed this. This has been fun. We'll see you Monday. Thank you, YouTube. Keep what time are we us. on, Chris? Monday? What time are we on? We back at 9 30 or what? No, we're not Do on we Monday, but on Tuesday. We're, we're not on, on Monday? What are we? Tuesday. We're on yeah. Tuesday yeah. and Thursday, Thursday next week. Yeah. Tuesday and Thursday. All right. Yeah. 9 30, yeah. 9 30, Tuesday, Thursday. Catch I probably us won't then. be here. I got to do something for John Madden. Oh, that, mm. well, why are you dropping out? big time names? Yeah, I Name got yeah, they coming to my house to do something for John, man. We need to. Know I got to explain this. The, the Snicker story all over again. Do you really? Yes. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. We need to know more about this. Yeah. We can don't we have get a time camera there. We don't. Why yeah, do can we, we have time? Can we what bring we somebody? Have? Yeah, y'all can bring somebody as long as we're all right with NFL Network. I'll check with we, you. We'll come talk on. about this off air. All right. All right, all right. Be back next Be back. Tuesday <laughs> on Hanging with the Boys. <laughs> you just can't drop the job. This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah!